Hey everyone, it's Kelly the Frugal Fun Mum. Welcome to the channel and today's video where we're going markdown shopping again. As you can see, no, don't need a trolley. <laughs> Just piling everything up in my arms. All right, in to Woolworths, we're going to check out these chickens. Wasn't happy with the first one, but this second one looks pretty good. And then going around to the other meat department, there wasn't a lot here, to be honest. Checked out the clearance section that was here, and funny, they've got the same similar products here, but for all different prices. So, yeah. Uh, I, I'm always so tempted by these macarons when I see them, but I left them there and this pie haunts me if it gets down to like four dollars I'll probably buy it the same there's another one with like an apple crumble thing I'll definitely buy that if it goes half price but I've never seen it pizza bases I'm always in the hunt for these so that's a pretty good price and today I seem to be haunted by potatoes marked down, but still nothing for the price that I'm happy with. So my price point is I will pay $1 per kilo or less. So looking for markdowns technically, and pretty much all of these are over that. This was tempting at half price, and these are really good potatoes, but still not the price for me. I'm always seeing these veggie bags marked down down and I always still have a look at them and for the weight it's just still not worth it especially when pumpkins are dollar fifty a kilo right now if you got a knife chop it up yourself and this chicken is really good because I want to make a chicken noodle soup so that was handy and having a look at some more meat prices um oh you're wearing coals by the way if you can't tell by the stickers <laughs> we've gone from Woolworths to coals uh again lamb yeah not happy with the price was so tempted by this but it just looks it's a little bit old so i left it um this was good to see i don't often see the odder things like that the same with these chocolate chip bagels i'd never seen those before so it was tempting but i left them but i did get these cookies and i grabbed this without realizing it actually says it's a olive base uh, and then i didn't take those pizza bases that were there even though they were cheaper than the one i've just bought at woolworths and then we've got this uh, garlic bread thing but i left that as well Okay, here is our haul for today. A few bits and pieces that we'll go through with you. So first of all, I got this thigh cutlass chicken. It's a little bit marked down, so only saving a little bit of money. But a saving is a saving because it was only $8 for a kilo. Seeing that chicken breast is only $7.99 a kilo, I figured this wasn't too bad. Grabbed one of these flatbreads for pizza bases. I grabbed three of these six packs of eggs that were a dollar thirty, so it makes it two sixty for a twelve pack, which is pretty good seeing as a standard twelve pack is three dollars sixty plus depending on the size, free range, etc. etc. I grabbed two of these sweetened condensed milk squeezy containers that were a dollar fifty each on clearance. The 450 grams a can is normally about 395 grams so pretty much the same price but you're getting a little bit extra product in there. I grabbed this creamy oat because it was half price and I'm looking at doing some ice cream with some oat milk so this is from the Oatly range this is creamy oat cream. <laughs> And then I got one of these rosemary and garlic butters. They were half price for $1.50. Normally $3. I buy them when they're $2.50. Being $1.50, great price. It was the only one on shelf I grabbed it. I'm hoping to go back and get some more because we use it for the basis of our risoni. I grabbed one, two, three, four, five packs of these Vita Wits Originals. Price for a dollar for each. They say that they're not. They were four dollars. I pay about three thirty when they're on the shelf. So either way, a discount. Then I've got this chicken, a boned butterfly chicken, a jalap Japanese inspired sticky miso and ginger marinade. So for four twenty five, and it is just over one kilo. So we'll let you know got these bananas on clearance they were $1.45 just under a kilo 
Got these chicken Kievs, they were from Woolworths on clearance for a dollar forty each, I think they were. That's half price of what they normally were, so I've got four. So I'll freeze them. And the chicken breast fillets as well, $7.99. So I grabbed two big fat chicken breasts and that will do one and a half meals for us. Grab some sneaky cookies down for 81 cents. As you can see, they're pretty popular. And I've got this juice, three liters of the nudie juice for $5.70. It says that it was $10. We'd normally only pay $7 for the daily juice for the three liters. So still, this is a great bargain. And I've got two packs of these oven baked roasted chicken because they were a dollar twenty each pumpkin was on special for a dollar twenty nine a kilo and this is just under a kilo i got two packs of these nut bars from Woolworths because they were a dollar sixty each they're one of my favorites they've got chocolate on the underside very yum and a pack of pizza bases. There were heaps there. I just grabbed one so still we'll have two more in the freezer. And with the other base that I've got today, that will be enough to last us a few weeks. And these are always on discount somewhere. So $2.76 for this pack. And of course, I saw some at Coles in the next shop, but I just left them there. So today's haul, that's here. I'll add all the prices up and you'll no doubt see that in the title, what I've spent and what I've saved according to the shops. Saw these linked chocolates on special, not really a fan of them, tried them in a taste test, so just left them. And if anyone wants any underwear, they're right here. <laughs> and then just having a look at everything else that's here, nothing really jumped out at me to see, buy me. So I've just left them. I'm hoping that someone does grab a bargain because it seemed to be some good stuff, but yeah, it was just like, eh, just don't think we'd use it. I was tempted by the tea, but again, wouldn't use it. I love this little section of meat markdowns now at Coles. In saying that, though, there's hardly anything ever to tempt me. <laughs> the stickers look so good, but the prices just aren't always worth it. Okay, next day, and I've got a few more things to show you. And yes, I haven't put away yesterday's haul yet. So I've got one, two, three, four bags of carrots because they were a dollar each compared with two dollars. So I'm stocking up. I've got a massive pack of creamy pasta for two dollars ten. So that will go well in sandwiches and sides. I've got two packs of bolognese mints. So that would be good in a lasagna. I got some soda syrup. So we'll get some soda water and add that in to make our own fizzy drink. I got some milk marked down. I've got this butter. That's garlic butter. It's a spreadable one. I'm going to see if it will work still as the base for our risoni. If not, I might freeze it, see how it works. Got these lamb burgers. They'll be good. Got these from Woolworths. They work on clearance for $2 cocktail spring rolls. And I got these kangaroo meatballs. Um, I was going to get some of these a couple videos ago, but I left them. So I had a giggle to myself, but I've got them because I know Kira will eat them. All right. So just two little cheeky markdowns the first one is drunken leg lamb <laughs> never heard of that before uh so it was oh my gosh it was 25.99 a kilo um all i saw was that it was 438 grams at 4.99 so about on par for that dollar per 100 grams so you double that and it will make it around the um ten dollars per kilo which is my rule and then these chicken thigh cutlets it is 924 grams so just under a kilo for 5.99 the pack was 8.31 so technically saving two dollars and 31 cents there are bones in it um from what i can feel but once i cook these in like a veggie broth uh, and then pull the meat off it'll be yum so yeah just two little cheeky markdowns here
all right the last little haul for today so i've got this butter chicken curry base sauce for $1.68 I figured that this was less than a jar of sauce, so I grabbed it. And then I grabbed this Thai green curry for the same price. My son's starting to enjoy some spicy food, so hopefully that will help with dinner. I got this lettuce, because it was $7.90 down to $3.16. We've run out and I need them for wraps for my son's lunches. I got this chicken mini roast again. We had it last time. Uh, you'll see it in an upcoming dinner video. It was okay, but took ages to cook. So this time I think I'm going to wrap it in alfoil and cook it in the oven. And it's cheaper again than last time. I think I only I paid $5.99. Uh, so it's uh, cheaper again. And then we just got a cheeky little slab cake walnut and coffee cake 500 grams for 225 also wanted to tell you guys there was these chicken breast munchies i can't even get them out everything is gonna fall over there we go they were on clearance at woolworths for three dollars <laughs> oh no um so as you can see I need to clean that out. Oh, there's the broccoli from last week. And then this is what a markdown chaos fridge looks like. So, yeah, that will be in the next video, cleaning all of that out. So, yes, markdown central. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you found any markdowns this week. Subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our Frugal Fun family. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.